sheet anyway. I forgot to press start, so we're going to record this again. Okay, here we are. We've got the, the guys from Daggers Watches. G'day, g'day. G'day, g'day. G'day. How are you? And we've got a so, new release. Oh, Sorry, oh, tell me about this. What is it? It's well, a sequel? Well, this is a sequel is to the, the Fishy Pussy, is it? Is it? Have you got the spec sheet? I got the spec sheet. Okay, well, this sheets. is for you. You better, you better look the at it The governor's first. governor. Because, ah, <laughs> oh, look at this. The governor's... Now, this, this, this took over an hour and a half. From planning from the very beginning of initializing. This is fantastic. To the very end. Yes. This is fantastic. This, this is super. Oh. Now, there will be need some explanation because immediately you might not quite get quite. what's going on here. Okay, please explain. So, well well maybe you take it out of the case first and have a look at the case back. Prime, yes. prime engraving yet again. Prime engraving. Yes, we've engraved yes. it. We have yes, we had it engraved yes. for you there. We made a master engraver. Ah, it's a um, it's a crapalina. A crapalina. Crapalina. Yeah. crapalina. Uh, uh, we call it the crapalina. 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 Ah. crapalina. You have to say it with the proper you have to accent. Italian. Because, because I'm crapalina. British, but I've got some Italian in me. So it's like the crapalina. Yeah, crapalina. I got that from the times when I li when I lived in uh, when I lived in Italy that you, weekend. You, 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 had, you had two hours there on a stopover. On a stopover. I believe. Yes. I was yes. on my way to Paris. Yes. So tell yeah. me about this crapalina. It looks amazing. What it, is it? It, it, it is. Amazing. Well, what's amazing about it is is I really don't know where to start. <laughs> it's hard to know where to start. See, it's it's not really the the watch as a whole. Yes. It's all of the select bits and pieces that went into this. Here. Yes. I mean, you're not going to find stuff like this anywhere else. You know. Where, where, where do we start? Well, should, we, should, I, we, should we start sure, with the please, bezel? Please, maybe? Sure, sure, yeah. me, sure so, me. So it's a very special bezel. Yeah. Well, okay. Richard, you talk, should talk about bezel because um, you've got this Italian. Well, well, here you see. We, we, we've, we've removed the um, first. First the, off, the pip for starters. Look, because first, <laughs> first off, what you got here is a hybrid watch, right? Yes. So the so the watch you can see, it's a hybrid of a dive watch and yes. a pilot watch. So oh, perfect combo meal deal. Exactly. Yes. It takes elements of both. You got elements yes. of the pilot watch. You can see. Yes. You can see your airplane. Yes. Hand spinning around there, can't you? Yes. Now, and you can see that it's also got some elements of the dive watch. So it's got a little bit of a dive case. Now you can see that we've carefully, we've carefully put the imagery here on the dial. We've got the little airplane yes. at the top here. Yes, yes, yes. And I know it's obscured by the by the hour hand right now, but there's a little yacht down there at the bottom. Oh, so that's this signifies the the pilot aspect and the diver aspect and then uh, and then at nine o'clock you'll notice to remind you of the crap there's a toilet roll there's a toilet a roll toilet a toilet angry toilet roll, roll. wow this, this was inspired this came inspired by Uwe's video oh Uwe's video of you on the airplane yes and showing sometimes things can get pretty intense up there in the plane right so ah. so what we've done here is we've got a case a case here. I don't know where we'd even I begin think, to look I, th for I this. think we should talk about the case later because uh, about the case after, yeah, right? Yeah, because it's, there's too much, too much going on here with the dial and and the chapter in. Right. And we've got the celebratory duck. This is the oh. duck to, to, to celebrate the Ooh. launch the of the wow. of the Hang Shang. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So as you can see, oh, oh beautiful. Great. So what, what do we call the bezel? It, it's, okay, so it's a zero click. This bezel is a zero click. A zero click. We, we were calling it what? An, an automatic, auto directional bezel. It's an auto directional oh. bezel. Basically, whenever you just brush it on anything, it just turns. <laughs> it just turns. It it turns. It's turns. beautiful. So if you accidentally drop, it just turns. It, it just turns. You turns. wind, you wind the watch. It, it turns. turns. Hey, that's beautiful. Yeah. Not that you can wind the watch because it's actually got a fake Seiko movement in it. <laughs> Not a real Seiko movement. It's a <laughs> yeah. wow. So you see the auto directional bezel spins around automatically in all sorts of directions. Now you're going to notice, you're, you're going to look at the watch and you're going to see, well it's got all those extra hours on the bezel, but I don't see a GMT function. No. But that's not what this is for. I mean at first glance you might think that, but really what it's for is, just you design. see, look, in at the end of World War II, towards the end of World War II when things were getting desperate for the yes. Italians, yes. getting very desperate for yes. the Italians. 
Mm, very oh, nice. Wow. nice. You know, and operations were getting were getting difficult. Mussol Mussolini, Muss Mussolini ordered. Yes. Mussolini ordered that they add extra hours. Yes. Around there to the bezel so that because he felt they needed more hours in the day to complete the operations oh. to try and win the war. See. I so see. this is this is a nod to Mussolini. I love the black yeah. hands. So, so on the wall, the we'll come, we'll come there. Oh, sorry, on, on sorry, the wall, sorry. it's completely yeah. useless. That basically. Yes. Absolutely. So we've also got blackout, no loom hands. Yes, no loom hands. Oh, other, other, other yes. pilot dive watching spider <laughs> has loom on everything. Yes. But we, what, we don't do that. Well, you want you don't want to give away your position. No. When you're on an operation. Exactly. Especially in those extra hours. Exactly. Right? You don't want to give away your position, so we've also knocked the pip out of the bezel there, so there's no loom on the oh, bezel. Oh, no loom at all. No loom. Yep, yep. Right. Now, there's also, you might want to be careful. Loose lips sink ships. Indeed. They do. The crystal itself there, mm -hmm. the crystal itself there is an aerial ejection pop-out crystal. Oh, I see. So if a plane's not pressurized, be careful. The pot, crystal might pop out. It, it might. I see. Unfortunately, the original fake crystal broke when I was trying to put oh, it in. So being an original crystal and a new gasket, it might right. actually work. I see. <laughs> I now, see. you've got what we call a positionally variable chapter ring. Yes. Which means it's not anchored there, so it could spin around a little bit, the chapter yeah. ring. Yes. You'll notice it's not really lined up with anything. Yes. Yeah. We have yes. to take the movement out twice because we accidentally lined it yeah. up. Oh, yes. oh, I see. Right. The date change. The date change, oh. well, since, as we noted, you know, you've got all the extra hours on the bezel. As the bezel is auto directional, yes, and you also have the uh, positionally variable chapter ring, yes, the date we didn't really pay a lot of attention to when it changes. So as it is, it changes around 7:20 p.m. or something. Like that. <laughs> that's fine. So that's fine that's because fine. you might not be you might be measuring by the 24-hour bezel anyway, right? Oh, I see. I just noticed the AC3 engraving on the clasp. I'm glad you I'm glad you uh, you noticed that. I, I did that myself. I'm proud to say. That looks fantastic. Now, the other thing you might notice is it's got a lovely straight end length bracelet. Yes. Which is 20 millimeters. Oh, I see. That's beautiful. So it leaves a lot of nice extra space. So you can actually pop the spring bar out with your fingernail if you want. <laughs> How perfect. With ease, with ease. How perfect. What can you say about that? It's, well, the, the one more thing, one more thing yes. about it. The case itself and the movement. Yes. Is very special. Yes, because this, it was, this is the piece. Because resistance. because it was discarded, it was discarded by a disappointed customer <laughs> who showed up at my shop a week ago or so, and he wanted yes. a nice click ring for his for his Seiko because yes. the bezel wouldn't click. And he came yes. in, and when we saw the watch, we noticed some fishy things about it. Yes. And well, it's a fake Seiko, so it's a fake oh, case, I see. and it's got a fake 7S26 movement inside. Yes. So, really, there, what you've got is an homage watch made out of a fake Seiko. Hey, that is fantastic! I'm honoured. I'm honoured to uh, be retailing these, mm. and these will be available at DaggersWatches.com. I don't know if I can make another one like that. Think so that find I think that's a one, one of a kind. Of one of a kind. Archie, that's one of a kind. Thank you so much, Daggers Watches. You, listen, you can feel free <clears throat> if it's going to help the channel, and you want to, you want to auction it or sell it. Yes. You can always feel free. Okay. I mean, you're not going to see another one like that yeah, anywhere else. Really. Thank, no. thank you so much, guys. Guys, thank you so much, and let's celebrate with this wonderful feast to launch Beautiful. what's the watch called it's called the crapolina we kept it clean the italian we one of the, the crapolina thank, thank you very much ciao ciao <laughs>